It is October 22nd today in Iowa. Pretty much raining and pouring out all day long. Skyler's coming tonight or tomorrow. We have this trailer and I was trying to find a spot to park it. No parking campgrounds let you stay. But I finally got in touch. Uh, Molly was a huge help at this uh, conservation place here. I talked to her and uh, she led me in the right direction and I got a hold of a farmer, his name is Daryl. I'm gonna head over to Daryl's right now. He says he's got a place for us to park the trailer. So that's, I'm super pumped about this. I'm really glad that he's gonna let us park there and stay there at night while we go hunt the public lands. I'm headed there right now. Well, Daryl just showed me where to park. This is where we're parking the trailer. Right next to the good old corn bin here. Looks like a good spot to me. Nice flat level, hard ground right here. Just gonna get her unhooked and hopefully go check out that other piece. All right, leaving camp, baby. Scouted this morning. Me and Skylar are going to hunt. I'm going back to where I scouted, but I'm hunting a different section of the property on the bottom of this draw and my wind should be blowing across the river and hopefully anything bedded down on the end of the river there where I didn't walk at all comes up that draw towards the food at night. Probably gonna be some couple scrapes up down on the bottom there. I'm excited man. Skyler is uh, headed back to where he scouted too. He's gonna go set up the top where he didn't walk so he said there's a bunch of sign down there. Well just did something real stupid. Tried to jump up, jump that creek. Landed in it. Got myself soaking wet. Looks like I got some moisture inside the lens or something. Oh man, I'm headed into the spot where, where I scouted this morning. Going in a little bit further and up to the north. Could be crops, could be uh, food up there, but I'm gonna go ahead and guess it's a CRP field. Creep up a drainage. Hopefully we can run into one. scouted this morning down on the bottom of this drainage around the outskirts of some major bedding and some willows so yeah That was awesome. A nice eight pointer. We're in the right spot, but my thermals are gonna start dropping in the afternoon. Right now, they're sucking up this way. He couldn't get my wind. He saw me move a little bit to get better footage. I'm gonna get up in this tree. Who knows, I might have something bigger come in right before dark. That just made my day right there, baby. It's awesome. Deer on the move. I'm walking around like an idiot. It's like 2.45. Three o'clock, maybe. Just gotta get across this sucker somehow. Freaking beating today. I had dope. 
come by while I was setting up. Still hoping that maybe something's better out on this point. We'll sit here and see what happens. I guess all the deer were down at the bottom. What's up, dude? I was on him, dude. Oh my god! Terrible footage of that monster. It was like 5.15, dude. I know where he sleeps, though. He's sleeping on that point. We're gonna have similar wind tomorrow, so Curtis is gonna film me. We're gonna sit all day. I don't know. Hopefully we're gonna freaking kill him. We know where he sleeps. We're back up where I was last night different setup. When I was sitting in here last night, I kind of saw where I would want to be. And pretty much me and Curtis are set up right in there. Didn't go up that drainage because that's where them deer are going down. We're coming up. We came up the super steep part. It sucked really bad. Uh, the feather was kind of fun. Yeah, it was excellent. Super sweet setup. We're going to sit all day. Maybe a little bit early, but for all dayers, but yesterday when I was walking into this junk, I had that nice buck at like three o'clock, kind of just cruising along that ridge. Anytime now, they're gonna be hitting scrapes midday. It's not supposed to get above 39 today, a low of 28 or something, 25 maybe. But we got a north wind coming over the top of the ridge like this, hit me in the face. Super steep drop off right behind us. I don't know if that big sucker was bedded out here or not. I want to assume he was. And we're gonna be set up ready to kill that sucker when he comes back this morning. We're way back in there, far away from food, so it's probably gonna take him a little while to get here. Didn't get much for sleep. I was thinking about this freaking hammer all, all night. Had to wake up at like 3 o'clock, 3.15 in the morning, take a huge crap. Couldn't hold it anymore. Think we ate some nasty pizza. Curtis had to cheap out on the pizzas, couldn't just get over span. Buy the bows on a budget. Buy a hat. What else did I want to tell you guys? There was something else real important that I had to say. If we get premium footage of something, something nice, I'm gonna let the juice loose. This is the best, this is the best part of the morning. Nice cool morning. Pop one of these in the old lip. Ooh. Mm. It's almost as good as French toast. I love French toast. We're gonna get into them today, boys.
basically we've been covered up in deer so far this morning, just not anything, not anything big. I was talking a little bit of crap this morning saying it wasn't even cold, but now, now I'm cold. You gotta wear your stocking cap over your ball cap. If you look closely, there's a, it creates a little tiny gap right by my ear so I can hear the hammers coming. Fifty-six sitting in the parking lot, going in deep. <laughs> Should be good. Lots of sign down in there. Hoping for some cruising action this morning. It'll be a little early. It's October twenty-seventh, but it's gonna happen one of these days, and we're gonna be ready for it. Right 
the CRP, right where I seen him the first time, coming back to bed. Trying. I didn't have my rangefinder out. I was afraid to grab it. I thought he was like 50 or under, just under. I shot six, eight inches over his back. I mean, I'm glad I missed entirely, but son of a gun, he's big. <laughs> he's big. Got some does behind me, coyote out here. Up on top of the CRP, two of them. Headed in, October 30th, 30 degrees, real calm. I'll be sitting up on the, up on a ridge top. Skyler's been hunting this area pretty much exclusively since he came down here. I mean, jumped around a little bit, but for the most part, he's been keep, uh, he's been coming back to this chunk just because he's been getting out a lot of good bucks right in this particular area. Yeah, so I'm gonna be kinda of sitting across the way from them on a different ridge. Oh, yeah. Now where I need to go up. I'm gonna go a little farther yet. 550 I went around the point and climbed 
climbed up one of the steepest parts of the point. And it's steep. But one of those, while I came up here, I saw some eyeballs. Looked like a deer going down this draw right here. I'm pretty sure I had two solo deer at separate times going down that same draw. <coughs> I might be about 40 yards off. Sit here and see how this pans out. I got a, a nice rub line on this this side of me. The side that I came up on. Looks pretty open and lame up here. But at the same time, anything bedded up down on this point is gonna see you coming from a mile away and then they're gonna be out of here. The wind's supposed to be pretty much calm all day. There's gonna be a pretty hard thermal pull. North, northwest, northeast, east, southeast, 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 all the way till dark. That should get the deer moving around, kind of figuring out where they want to be bedding. I think I'm gonna definitely see some deer today. It's just a matter of if they walk by me and if they're big enough. Buck, he was making little baby grunts. I don't want to kill something like that. That doe came and worked right past me. She just kept on walking and the buck did the same thing. Followed her. 20, 25 yard shot would have been gravy. It sounds like Kurt just let a nice feet pointer walk by. 25 yards broadside. Deer moving over by him. Nothing here. Get busted right by the tree. 
Another one goes up there. Across this big rub on that knob down there. I'm hoping that in the tree stand my scent gets blown down the valley a little bit. A magnum. We got him on camera. Oh my god. Oh my god, I gotta text my dad. Holy shit, dude. Oh, oh shit. Oh Freaking my god, that up. happened fast. Big sucker we got on camera, dude. That is a big sucker. <laughs> dude, that's a that might be a booner. It's a tank. Oh it's a tank. Holy. That's a tank. <laughs> Dude, he's down. He's down right there. Dude, I didn't even, I had the dip in my hand. I had to throw it in real fast. <laughs> I'm like, oh. It's a giant. Dude, I seen that thing come over that hill. And I'm like, I look back at you and you're not, you're, I don't know. Put my dip in. Right on the side of the spine, straight down into the, probably the heart. This chunk of public, man, I've got three shots on freaking tanks in here oh man i'm still sh i'm starting to shake now we had some does up on the point this morning curtis saw him he's on the back side of this tree we knew that he had i wanted him initially i wanted him to be on this side because i knew if something came over the top of that ridge it was coming down right at us 
eight, 8.30. I was like, yeah, I think it's about time to throw a good dip in. I'm sitting down, I got my can in my hand and the pinch of chew in my fingers. And Curtis says, big buck. At first I thought he was joking me. I look back and here comes the oh, giant buck. Just a freaking giant. Oh my gosh. Five yards, not even. And I shot straight down, crossed the drainage, stood up there, tipped over dead. We gotta get down, dude. We gotta get down. Screw this. I don't want to be up here anymore. I want to go down there and look at this thing. I can touch the tree probably. Touch, touch, I can touch my stick and pick up the arrow. Got about that much penetration straight down on him. This is the, this is the drainage crossing, but I snuck up here yesterday and I got to this point and I saw all these trails coming down right here and I didn't want to walk across them. So I set up in this goofy tree, got as high as I could. The wind's blowing down the valley or down the drainage. So nothing could really smell us if it came down this trail, but I didn't want to cross it. I, initially, my plan was to go up higher and sit higher. But once I saw this crossing, I, I couldn't cross it. It was just too good. And I set up here yesterday, last night, after I checked that camera, which we have trail cam pictures of this buck. I knew I was gonna come sit in here today. So I left my stand and sticks up. Last night was the first night that we decided like, hey, we're gonna just switch off days and uh, I'm gonna film tomorrow. And holy crap, thank goodness we did. Let's go take a look at this guy. Holy shit, Nikes, dude. It is, it is that gnarly one, dude. Holy smokes. Look at that beast. Oh, he reeks. What a freaking giant. Holy shnikes. Oh. 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 Oh my goodness, dude. It is that gnarly son of a gun, dude. I don't know if I can get him out of there. Look at the character on this thing. Look at this weird shovel on the end of the main beam there. God, man. What a freaking beast. I could not be more thankful, man. All of Iowa has been unlike anything that I've ever experienced before in my life. This is my third opportunity on a buck, a big buck. You know, growing up, never in my life, never in my life did I ever think that I would have this chance, these opportunities to do this, to do it with my one of my really, one of my best friends, Curtis. The bucks were in here. And then when we pulled that camera, when I pulled that camera yesterday and looked, every, looked everything over with Curtis, it was just like, we gotta be in there. There's no way we can't be in there. I don't know how old he is, I don't care. He's a giant. I don't care what he scores, the experience him rolling over that hill. Curtis telling me there's a big buck coming is unlike any experience I've ever had. One of the most beautiful bucks I've ever seen. Yeah, he's at least a three with that muzzle like that. He's at least three. I'd say he's a bit proud, more likely a four-year-old. Four-year-old. Look at 
if you keep getting drunk at deer camp, you'll never get sponsors. Who the? <laughs> who doesn't get drunk at deer camp, Daryl? That's the real deal. It is. If you don't show that on YouTube, you're faking it. Yeah. True. True. We ain't faking you're shit faking. on YouTube. Oh my god, that thing is a magnum. We got him on camera. 